Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is your Geek Out for Monday, July 16th, 2012. Have you guys played Spin to Win yet today? We've got the link in the video's description so that you may get this! T-Mobile's new Samsung Galaxy S3. You can enter to win at least once every day between now and the end of that particular giveaway that we're doing in conjunction with T-Mobile, and we're very happy to do that because if you want T-Mobile's new Samsung Galaxy S3, I don't think there's going to be an easier way. Speaking of, did you watch the unboxing video yet? We uploaded it just today. You can take a look and watch to see how much fun it was to unbox. And yes, it was actually a little fun. We did it at Matthew's house and Waz ran through the background just once. Not the guy Waz, but his dog Waz. The link for that video is also in this video's description. Is now a good time to try Android? That was the question we posed in a Locker Gnome article and my answer is always going to be yes. There's never a bad time to try something new or different. Even if you thought Android wasn't for you, why are you rebuking it. Why? There's no reason you would not want to try something that you haven't tried in a while. It's kind of like your taste buds, right? Devices change, operating systems change, your choices change, your needs change. It's always going to be a good time to try something. Microsoft says Vista and Windows 7 users need to dump gadgets. And we're not talking about your hardware, we mean those little software gadgets that come installed with Windows Vista or Windows 7 that you probably were ignoring anyway. Apparently there's a security risk and Microsoft's no longer going to support them. Does anybody really use them? Did anybody use them at all? Did you? Open source weight loss week nine, backtracking. I kind of fell behind, didn't eat very well when I was geeking out at uh, Comic-Con this past week, but I did my best. I learned that I probably need to get a Fitbit, one of those little gadgets I can clip onto my belt and tell me how many steps I made over the day and then it synchronizes with an account and I can even get a scale that communicates with a Fitbit so I can be healthier with gadgets. I know several people on Locker Gnome's team who have a Fitbit and love it. My family, a few of them have Fitbits and love it. Are there any other healthy gadgets I might use to make it seem like I'm healthier? Those of faith in the faithless, how we make decisions. I know you don't want to admit it, but you're biased. You, you, you're, you're biased. And guess what? I am too. We're all biased. If anybody claims that they're not biased, they're wrong. And we know they're wrong, even though they don't necessarily see that they're wrong. We make decisions based on our own set of biases. And worse yet, yeah, add, add insult to injury here, uh, you're probably making decisions based on your emotions. Not so much on the logical side, more on your emotional side. That's what works. So that is why I play on your emotions. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm tickling your emotions. Do you feel emotional? Are you getting emotional? Good! So how does your faith tie into your ability to make decisions? Of Jedi Knights and Samurai. I love Jedi Knights. I happen to love the lore of Samurai. Not the lure, the lore, as in history. What made Star Wars work is that it tapped into something that was incredibly familiar. So if you hadn't taken a look at the article that we put together, realize that uh, we've got something for you geeks. We've got a lot for you geeks. Even if you don't like Star Wars, you could read it and become that much more intelligent. We hope. That's not a guarantee. Simulation apps are not only for fun, but inspire good habits. You could simulate just about anything with computer software. And when you do, you're developing good habits, potentially even planning and balancing. And those habits can translate into real life. It's not just a game. Exercise your mind. Use the skills you develop in simulators to make your life better. Google's loss is Yahoo's gain as Marissa Meyer becomes Yahoo's CEO. News broke earlier, and I think it's good news. I don't think that Marissa is going to turn Yahoo into Google, but it'll be interesting to see what she does with this brand, which was formerly a juggernaut. I think Yahoo could make a return, and Marissa is one of the people who can make it happen. Office 2013, additions at a glance, and an FAQ. We've got it linked in this video's description, of course. Uh, my first take, as I saw the screenshots and looked at the consumer preview on Microsoft's website, you're more than welcome to do the same was that Microsoft did something with their designers because it looks like Office 2013 was developed with Windows 3.1 in mind. It looks like it was a Windows 3.1 app. It's all white. That, that It's white. And a little color, but it's mostly white. Just white. I'm a white guy. I'm a very white guy. And I'm complaining about white. 
I don't know what happened to the rest of it. I don't know if this is a wireframe and there's going to be a different design for the final product, but I'm not the only one who is wondering. Um, that That's it? That's the design? It's just, it's white. Apple's major change with iCloud. Dude, Apple, stop! Okay, you started with a dot .Mac. I got that. Okay, signed up for everything back. Then I went to MobileMe and had a me.com address. Now I'm getting an iCloud address? Why do I need, like, three email addresses that go to the same account, Apple? Why? I, I, I don't know. I'm serious. I don't know. I, I love the iCloud services. I use it for my contacts. Of course, I use Google Docs for managing documents and spreadsheets and presentations. And then I use Microsoft to connect to my email server. I use an Exchange server. I don't use Apple for everything. I don't use Google for everything. I don't use Microsoft for everything. I believe in a balanced approach to technology. I believe in a balanced approach to technology. An iPad lover's take on the Nexus 7. MG came out on TechCrunch and says he likes it. Yeah, shocker. He loves everything that Apple does. Well, not everything that Apple does, but he likes a lot of what Apple does, and people accuse him of being a fanboy, and usually the people who accuse someone else of being a fanboy aren't really getting the full picture, right? I mean, they're projecting their own biases onto somebody else, and that's just not fair. Not in the slightest. Uh, but I happen to agree with MG. It's one of the reasons why I cannot wait for my Nexus 7 tablet to arrive tomorrow. Google is stepping up their game and delivering a good consumer experience. Hardware married with software married with service. That's what Google's doing with the Nexus 7, and at a price point, $200? How? How could you dislike that? It may not be perfect, but nothing is. On LockerGnome.net, DJ Scooby-Doo writes, What are some amazing quality headphones? I have my own choice of headphones. I happen to like noise-canceling headphones from a variety of vendors, but I like the ones that are smaller on my head. I don't like the gigantic ones. I certainly don't like earbuds where I have to stick something in my ear because I, I've been prone to getting ear infections and, generally speaking, don't like anything in my ears. I also don't like, you know, gigantic things that stick out like this and make me look like Dead Mouse. Is that, that's, that's the DJ. Is it Dead, Dead Mouse? That's the guy's name? The DJ? That is right? On LockerGnome.net, Gravatar writes, Are you going to upgrade to OS X Mountain Lion? <gasps> oh, yeah, of course. It's like 20 bucks. And I've got pretty much most of my Macs around here running Lion, so it just makes sense to upgrade. $20. One time. I can upgrade all of them. It's easy. Plus, the services that they're including with Mountain Lion are going to make it better for me to live in the world of iOS. And I like that. I, I happen to be someone who believes that I can keep my experience happy no matter where I be, where I be, where I happen to be using something, whether it's mobile or on the desktop. I just want to be able to get to my stuff easier. And that's kind of what Mountain Lion is going to make happen for me and possibly you. If, of course, you have a Mac and you use iOS devices, which admittedly I do. Sorry about that. On LockerGnome.net, Class and Tech writes, what's the most creative way to dispose of a computer? Donate it. It's not very creative, but it could help somebody else. YouTube user Dr. Bendable writes, I agree with your view on patents, and I also dislike how copyright is done. What are your views on Creative Commons? I personally think it's a way better deal. It's not always a way better deal. Most of you out there are just fine with watching my content, at which point it doesn't really matter what the license is. But if I wanted to create content that I wanted to hand over to you, then Creative Commons would be a better route to go than just plain old copyright. So it just depends on your usage model. I think uh, it's fine to use both, not just one or the other. Uh, the copyright system certainly needs to evolve, and Creative Commons is a good alternative to it. I've used both, and you know what? Ow, that's what. Was I too emotional today? We'll eat you later. Do you create it on a platform that allowed you to, bless you, sorry, so, who sneezed? Was it, did I hear a sneeze? Oh, Wicked sneezed. 